Hey guys, and welcome back to the Fans Perspective, and that's right, another week, another match day, another match day vlog, and today we're in the beautiful area of Bristol at the Memorial Stadium to watch Bristol Rovers versus Cheltenham. The home side are in 12th, Cheltenham are in 16th, only three points to split the sides, but to be fair, both sides are in decent form, only a few wins in their last five games, and uh, Cheltenham actually did come off with that game one 0 win, all five of their last fixtures have been 1-0 results, so hopefully there's going to be more goals today, but it'll most likely be another 1-0, hopefully in Cheltenham's favour. There's been a few more goals in Bristol Rovers game, but they are coming off the back of a two back-to-back uh, -back losses. You guys actually think Bristol Rovers are the favourites. Only, I believe, around 38% of you think Cheltenham are going to win. And if we go to the bookies' odds, it's around even for Bristol Rovers. Even the bookies think Bristol are going to do it. It's about 3 to 1, 17 to 5. I believe for Cheltenham to win. If you do enjoy these videos, smash that like button. Never been to Bristol Rovers, another game, another new ground, and what a way to kick off the year and watching Cheltenham bloody town. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. The Stoke vs Burnley video is going absolutely mental, it's not like 5k views. You didn't expect to do that well or again to subscribe, so trying to hit 3k. And uh, yeah, let's get into the ground. What a beautiful day, no cover and it's starting to rain. Come on. Alright, so the lineups are out as follows. It's a pretty strong lineup. Obviously, we haven't got Charlie Ragland because of his Brexit challenge the other day. Surprisingly, Ryan Jackson is starting as well. I haven't got Mr. 9 0 with me today or Mr. Thumbnail, but I got Tyler. Tyler, thank you. Proven instead. So today is good. My heart wants to me every 2 1 town, but realistically, we're going to lose 3 0. Uh, I want us to win. I'm going to go over one all draw. Come on. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a big Brexit Cheltenham town in the rain today. Rainy bar. Rainy bar. <laughs> are in our box. That's a poor finish. Simple shot past the keeper. Le bar. The embarrassing. Watching it back, I have to feel bad for Freestone. He, he man marked his man all the way, but he slipped at the last moment. Get easy, Paul! One small, one two passes through the chart of defence. It is a very good defensive block. It's out for a corner. Shit! So Tyler, it's not 1-0 again. 2-0. 2-0. 
Um, yeah, great stadium, uh, great weather, great performance, great team. Great goal. Yeah. It's opposite day, but yeah. <laughs> Probably the best finish of the day, and the line has actually done his job. Still 2 0. This is getting embarrassing. 45 minutes played, and you've got to say today has been all round dreadful. It's been terrible weather. I'm not a fan of the ground at all. And um, yeah, the, the fans have been pretty rowdy for the home side, so they're two and up. The goals are completely basic. I did think the second goal was offside, but on second round, I'm going to record it. I think Long did play him on. Simple finish is really just passes straight through the heart of the defence and touch it past the goalkeeper. You can't really blame him. It's a one on one scenario. He stuck his leg out, but he hasn't gone to it. He's got little clips onto it, but yeah, we're still 2 0. Are we going to get anything from the game? It doesn't look like it. I thought it was going to be another 1 0. <laughs> My prediction wrong again. You know, I, it's going to be a long time until I actually get it right. Um, yeah, 2 0 at half time. See if we can get anything better in the second half. Luckily, he goes into the second half. They've got Ryan Jackson. What a player. He can cross the ball. Decent throwing. We had a chance then, but made straight into the keeper. I'm happy, but I'm also quite upset. My camera froze, so I missed it. But it was a great finish, man. Right? Made decent touch into the roof of the net. Come on, boys. Classic town. Four at the back, three at front, and with 15 minutes to go, they are holding it in the corner flag. The optimism I had at the start of the half is it's diminished, let's be honest. It's, it's, it's been a tough watch. Five minutes to go. Yeah, it looks like it's going 2-1. Why am I watching a light show? Right, toilets. Any away fans with a light show? Let's make my day even worse. Three stones now off on a stretcher. Tom Bradford's on the pitch. Oh, right. Here we go. We're done for. Yes! Nine more minutes. Go on. Go on. Take him on. Not long left now. This has been a long day. Oh man, you got the way. Charlie! 
how's it then guys? Full time whistle is gone, Cheltenham Town lose on the road again. At least it wasn't another 1 0. We showed a little bit of heart and spirit in the start into the second half, but we really should have taken our chances. And uh, yeah, we had an opportunity to go ahead of Rovers today and we didn't take it. It was a game of two halves, really. I think Charlton were a much better side in the second half. The first half, we were absolutely dominated. But I'm not going to lie, the quality of Rovers did show today and showed that it proves why we are the lowest scoring team in the league. Our defensive numbers are all right, but didn't really gloss it today. And obviously, the, the saddest part of the day was to see a free stone going off a stretcher. All my obviously hopes and wishes go to him. I hope he's the best. If you do enjoy these videos, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. We're at Birmingham tomorrow. We've got loads of games. Just bought tickets for Southampton versus Man City. We've got Bristol City. We've got we've just got loads of games. It's eight games in 16 days. What a way to start the year. In the rain, dark, cold weather, Bristol Rovers see each other and lose 2-1. You know, on to better things. Not the best way to start the year, but come on. We always got to watch out and we got to love them. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. See ya.